very much for joining us this morning. Thank you for having me, sir. And uh, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and all those other goodies. Likewise to the SABC crew. Talk to me about this foundation because it really, um, in the Northwest province, is really on a day-to-day -day basis changing the lives of children. But it's also, I mean, from digging boreholes to launching paperless classrooms, it really is striving to change the lives of children. Thank you, Sam. Sam, it was a great, great achievement for us to, to finally launch the foundation. I mean, when you start something as, as a royal leader, it, it doesn't have a, a, a term. For instance, when I launched this, my challenge was this has to be a life, lifetime initiative. And so far, it's been three years going strong. Uh, we formally registered the entity in 2015, early this year. And to date, we've had remarkable partnerships. We've launched the first paperless, as you alluded. Mm. Uh, we're also taking it to the early development uh, level to, to, to nurture and start the quality, enhance the quality of education from an early learning perspective. Mm. Uh, we also focus on sports development from because from, you can't de-associate education and sports. But beyond that, it's looking at the socio-economic factors of the community. As the chairperson of the Bapirian traditional community, it's, it's my responsibility to, to ensure that our community blossoms through corporate partnerships. Mm. And then attacking also addressing issues like unemployment and poverty allevi alleviation. So this also becomes a, a plus for me or an advantage where you're able to use the entity and align it with my functions as a leader, as a mm. royal leader of the tribe. Mm. Uh, at the time when you started the foundation, what was the need on the ground? The need, the priority, primary priority was the educational factor. Uh, Sam, so we have challenges with our government standard of education, the quality of education in our rural communities. Mm. So the, the, the plight was to focus and address uh, the educational factor, but also to look at the uh, underprivileged, young, vulnerable children within the community, including your disabled young children, mm. to educate them, give them hope and love and care, and so they can be uh, better products of the future. So this passion for children, where does it come from? I think it has to come from the heart, Sam. You can't force such a quality. You have to be born with it. Mm -hmm. uh, at birth, uh, my destiny is clear, was to care and be the primary father figure of a nation. Mm -hmm. So it was easily aligned because as a characteristic that I was born with, I've always had a passion for children and to, to give them hope and love and care. So when you, when you highlight education as one of the pillars of, of the work that you need to do, when you launched earlier this year the first paperless classroom, what kind of milestone or historic moment was that? Well, it was incredible for us as a tribe, but not only as a tribe, but including the partners we were able to bring along the board. We had companies like Fezeki's Investment who are still working with the foundation and take to teach who supplied all the equipment. So from uh, a multi-billion rand industry within Gauteng and bringing it to a, a rural community, it, it was an incredible milestone for us and it will go down our tribal history books. Because it wasn't only the paperless classroom that was, that was set up, but it was actually the donation of tablets to the young ones too. Yes, it was actually, that it also includes the security element of it, which is the insurance. Uh, they are also provided with data so they can easily have access to the internet while they do their homeworks. Okay, so you've got, the foundation has done work not only with children, but you've developed boreholes. What is next, or what are you still continuing to work on with the foundations? We are finalizing a calendar for next year, which we'll, I don't want to disclose much. <laughs> so, but you to give away. There will, be, there will be a lot of work that's done next year, obviously tackling educational issues, but not just education. We, we thrive to also address the, the health factor because mm. our rural clinics have challenges. We, we seek to address those also health issues where we can improve. Mm. We also tend to partner with uh, corporate entities through private hospitals where they'll be able to improve the lives of our community members. Mm. If you actually log on and you look at some of the partnerships, have you been able to and how have you been able to attract these partnerships, especially as you mentioned, coming out of Gauteng to the Northwest? They must be seeing the value though. They, they, they are. I'm privileged. I, I travel a lot in my line of duty and I serve in other boards 
with our, uh, not within my position as Kosi. But that, that gives me an advantage to, to be able to network and attract, sell my tribe and create interest for, for corporate partners to see the work and also to highlight the work mm -hmm. that we do and see how credible it is. And also yourself as SABC giving me this platform. It's, it's beneficial to the foundation to, to grow beyond what it is today. 20 seconds, sir. It's uh, Christmas in five days' time. Message uh, and uh, any re New Year's resolutions? Uh, let me give a basic message to the whole nation that's, that's watching. Uh, this is a time of caring and sharing. Let it not be beyond, let it not just be about us, but let it be about the less fortunate ones. Mm -hmm. We are privileged to some of us taking holidays, but let's keep in mind those that don't afford and see how we can assist in that regard and also travel safely within our South African roads. No resolutions this year. Uh, I'll share them with you in our next interview. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to leave it there. Uh, now, you go, now I wonder what it is. Okay. That was His Excellency Khosi Edward Mamalani talking to us about this HRM haven of hope situated in the Northwest and about the work that they're doing in changing the lives of the people of the Northwest. It's time for us to say hello again to our music guests.